Um, I think a little bit with mine, everybody kind of know. Um, but you know, it was a it was a great summer. You know, um, from every angle on the court, off the court. You know, um, just being able to go out, win a gold medal with the Olympic team with my teammate, um, being able to re resign to a place where I wanted to be, and you know, um, having my second daughter. It was every it was everything, you know, um, especially Cal with with everything, you know, we accomplished together. You know, um playing an all star game together, you know, making it to the Eastern Conference final together and, you know, being able to compete for a gold medal together is is, is awesome. You know, when you think you can't do anything else to become closer to a teammate, you know, something else happens and you know, um the USA thing was was, was one great thing. Did you give him any advice on how to uh, navigate through all the contract questions that he's going to get? Um, I mean, yeah, Cal, Cal, great at that. So now I can laugh at him about it just as much as as he was laughing at me about it, sending me things that was outlandish. So I, I get to do the same thing to him. Is it nice to know there was not going to be people photoshopping the Lakers jersey? Yes, I was tired of that. <laughs> I was very tired of that. I remember some kids came to my house. Earlier in the summer, with Photoshop pictures with me, with the, I was like, "This is getting out of hand." So, was that here? Was that here in no, it was in LA. It was back, back when the thing the first week I was home, some kids seen I was back and knocked on my door with a bunch of Photoshop pictures. In all, ser in all seriousness, you know, you signed here and left something strange happened. You're gonna be here. It would seem, you know, you have a gold medal. It seems there's one big thing left to accomplish. How do you even start? The motivation of, you know, knowing what it felt like being two games away from having an opportunity to compete for a championship and using that motivation, you know, going in tomorrow, first day of training camp to understand, you know, we're at the bottom of the hill now and we got to work our way up and, and take on every challenge that we're going to face, you know, and that's the beauty of, you know, playing sports, being a competitor and, you know, just facing challenges. Go out there and compete. We understand starting tomorrow, we got to come together. Tomorrow is our day one of our journey. You know, it's not going to be pretty. You know, we we may not win as many games as we did last year, but, you know, at the end of the day, that could make us a better team going into the postseason. And that's what things we got to keep in mind. You know, we can't get caught up in, you know, if we have a bad stretch or, you know, they get to comparing us to last year. You know, everything don't go, you know, it's plan or it's promise, but as long as you understand the goal that's a, at the end of the road, that's all we're fighting for. Is there any one particular aspect of uh, your game that uh, you think you wanted to improve on over last year? Was there something that you left last season you thought uh, uh, needed to uh, work on? I mean, yeah, I've been doing it for the last seven, eight years. You know, and uh, it's, I think it'll be shown once we get get out there and start playing again of of me just finding out ways how to be better, how to be a better player, how, how to make my teammates better. So, you know, I think without giving it away, you know, I, I'll let y'all be the judge of, of that, you know, as me as an individual. But, you know, my goal this time around is really pushing my team and using the knowledge that I gained being in the lead this long, you know, being on an Olympic team, um, Carrying that over to my team and try to make every guy, you know, uh, uh, accountable and, and and play at their highest level every time we step out there on the court. Tomorrow, you had the chance, obviously, to, com to compete this summer at the Olympics, but given the playoffs run that you guys experienced, how much have you been looking forward to getting back to this moment and getting and being two for seven and these things? All summer. You know, even during, it's crazy even to say during the Olympics, you know, even though we was playing, practicing for the Olympic team, you know, at the same time, you know, I, I was working towards this season, you know, um, understanding what I need to do to get better and working on my body, you know, um, working on everything that needs to be done 
for me to be be able to withstand a, another long season to get back to the point to where we was at. And it was great to have my teammate there at, at the same time and being able to talk about what we need to do to be better at the same time. Uh, you know, we competing for a gold medal. Why was Jared so So much versatility. You know, a guy that, that can play down in the post, a great passer, a guy who could pick and pop, step out to the three-point line, knock down threes, give us extra spacing on the floor. You know, a heck of a rebounder. You know, um, all them elements. And one is great when you when you have a, a player like Jared. So it's going to be awesome just getting him accustomed to our offense and, you know, how we play. You know, I think it's going to do nothing but get better. Did you ever get a chance, like, because the Olympic, this being an Olympic year, the first time this team has gone to different games, did you get a chance to recharge your batteries a little bit? Yeah, I, I took the smart approach this, this year, you know. Um, during during the Olympics, before, right when I got home, just really taking care of your body, you know, because it, it, it's physically draining, it's mentally draining at the same time. So you got to be able to, to understand how to balance it. You know, a couple years ago when I did it, you know, I, I was just nonstop. I felt like I couldn't stop. I didn't want to stop. This time around, you know, I just try to manage everything I did the correct way, the correct, correct way, and so I could be feel good, be healthy coming into the season. When, when a player plays. Yeah, all, all them coaches, uh, Ted, Thibodeau, being around all them great minds, you know, you, you always catch up on little things here or there that you can apply, you know, to yourself where you could carry over to, you know, your team. You know, it's all about, you know, talking to coaches. Even Monty Williams, you know, um, played a big part in just listening to him, his approach of, you know, of his mindset from being a player to a coach, you know, how how he look at the game, how he evaluate certain things. So you kind of use that as, as your educational form as a player, you know, and it makes you more knowledgeable, you know, um, mentally. And sometimes that's more benefiting than, you know, gaining something on the court, you know, just that knowledge. And, you know, I think I learned a lot of that this time around. Yes, yes, without a doubt, all that, you know. Um, and at the same time, we all, as individuals on, on this team, you know, been through different things, you know, in our lives. And, you know, it's definitely a sensitive thing that, you know, I think I, I definitely will take an approach to it, you know, because I had a close friend of mine, you know, a couple of weeks ago that, that was that was murdered by the, by the police, shot 17 times, you know. Um, it was something I haven't spoke out about, you know, it was more so of, you know, just understanding what's going on in a society and how much I can help, you know, and that's what it's all about. So most definitely I think we will and I will for sure. And do you know what manner will be, you know, similar to Kaepernick or have you guys discussed how you might? It's, it's, it's many a ways, you know, as long as we do it, just making sure we all on one accord, you know, and anything we do, we supporting one another. You know, um, and that's what it's all about, you know, being able to try to make a difference, you know, um, and understanding everybody's point of view, thought process, because like you said, you know, everybody didn't grow up in Compton, you know, so their point of view on something may be different from mine. So just more so having that dialogue and getting everybody together and understanding how can we help to be beneficial to, you know, the outside world, so to speak. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely tough. It's, 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 you know, it's, you know, in a sense, it's chaotic, you know, because you want, you want change to happen so quick, you know, so much, so much is going on, it seems at once, and you want change to happen at the same time where, you know, it necessarily don't work that way. You know, it take time. You know, it's not going to be a day. It's not going to be a week. It's not going to be a month. But it could start with each individual, you know, and that could speed up the process, you know, however long that may be. But, you know, it's more so of just understanding what's going on and, and, and you know, using your minds and, and not so much 
with anger or aggression towards certain things because that that may not be the solution, you know, and just really helping people understand that part and working towards figuring whatever needs to be figured out. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you kind of get the blueprint, you know, when you understand how difficult it, it is. You know, last season, you know, you, you kind of get caught up in, you know, taking it day by day until you get put in that situation of, you know, you look up, you're in a game seven. You look up again, you're in another game seven. You know, you, you really understand how, how hard you have to play when you have an opportunity to close, close out a series, you know, and, and have that in your mind going into the playoffs, you know, give you a different perspective on how to take a 3-2 lead, you know, when you at home or you on the road, how to close it out to make sure it's not a game seven. You know, little things like that, you kind of you kind of really understand more instead of somebody telling you you need to play this game six like it's a game seven, you know and not wait till you're in a game seven. So things like that, just understanding that 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 blueprint of it, you know, really really gonna help us a lot. Obviously what happened with Kevin and Golden State was sort of the big two of the summer. Is there anything that happened in the East that really caught your attention? Um definitely a few teams that got better. Obviously, you know, D Rose going to New York, um, Joe Kim Noah, um, Indiana got got a lot better. You know, and it's great when you see it, you know, as a competitor, you know, you, you want to see things like that. You know, um, Boston getting Al Horford, you know, um, it's going to be great. You know, that's that's the things that get you excited for the season and, and can't wait to play against them teams.